This is the Duex Plus from Mobile Pixels, a portable monitor for playing your Nintendo Switch with a bigger screen on the go, or when you need a second monitor from when you're working on your laptop. Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm back with another video. I told you there'd be another video soon, so let's get into it. I gotta make a disclaimer that this device was sent to me from Mobile Pixels. And of course, these opinions are my own and I'm not being paid in any sort of way to give a review. The Duex Plus is a 13.3 inch diagonal 1920 by 1080 resolution 16 by 9 screen and the bigger brother to the Duex Lite. The Duex Plus can connect to your Nintendo Switch, PC or Mac enabled devices, and Samsung DeX enabled devices. All of this via the included USB-C to USB-C slash A cable in the box. If you connect it with your laptop, then it can serve as an extended second monitor or even a duplicate monitor. Whereas if you attach it to your Nintendo Switch, then it serves as, well, a larger screen for your Switch. But more on that in just a second. It has a pixel density of 165.63 PPI, which is a higher density than that of a 24 inch 1080 screen or even a 27 inch 2K monitor. The maximum brightness on this is 300 nits, which you can adjust in the monitor settings. It also has a refresh rate of up to 60 Hertz. Out of the box, you get the monitor itself, the aforementioned USB-C to USB-A slash C cable to plug into the monitor and your device, extra adhesive stickers to attach it to the back of your laptop, and instructions on how to install it. There's even a reinstallation template for if you want to pull the magnets off and attach it to something else. Attaching the Duex Plus to your laptop is fairly simple. You take the device and you line it up to approximately where you want it to go and which side you want the monitor to slide out on, either the right side or the left side. Then you remove the stickers from the pre-attached magnets and you just slap it on the back of your screen. And honestly, that's it. If you do happen to mess it up, you can pull it off and then pull off the magnets from the back of your screen and reattach it to the device and just use the replacement adhesive sticks and put it on the magnets. You take the 90 degree USB-C and you plug that into the little circular Thunderbolt slash lightning symbol USB-C port on the device. And then you take the other end and you plug that into your laptop whether it's USB-A or USB-C. The second USB-C port there is meant to power and charge your devices. The build quality on this isn't amazing. It's mostly plastic with little bits of metal on the sliding hinges. There's a little bit of metal on the backside, but that's so that the magnets can attach to it. And although the device is plastic, I'd rather it be plastic and lighter than heavier and metal. Once you get the device attached to the back of your laptop, the sliding hinge allows it to slide out and tilt towards you to get a better viewing angle. Or it can even flip all the way around so you can present to others. It does feel a little bit finicky the first time I pulled it out, thinking that because it's so thin that I would mess it up or break it in some sort of way. But that was never really the case and I've never ha actually had any issues with it. The screen also has a matte finish, which helps cut down some of the glare from light sources like the sun or, you know, lights in your room. Like I mentioned before, on the side of the device are two USB-C ports, one for power and data to plug your switch into, and the other is for power. Since this does take up a port on your device, Mobile Pixels was smart enough to create a second port to serve as a power pass-through. On the back of the monitor are three buttons that allow you to access the settings and change the settings of the monitor, up, down, and select. The options you can change in the monitor are backlight amount, contrast, saturation, and color temperature. There's eye care mode, which tints the screen a little bit orange to help reduce the strain on your eyes, which is a nice little feature. There's G sensor, which by default is on and allows it to automatically rotate depending on which way the monitor is facing. And of course there's reset to reset all the settings to factory settings. There's a lot of little options here that you can tweak to look better to your preference. Of course, outside the monitor's internal settings, you can plug it in and adjust it via your computer settings. Plugged into my laptop, the default for display settings looks great. It's fairly sharp, but the resolution looks a little too big for me. It looks like everything is really just scaled up. There's of course other resolutions. There's 960 by 540, which is the default. Everything is really sharp, but also too large. Then there's 1920 by 1080. Everything's a bit small, but extremely sharp. And as great as this looks, it's not the most optimal for me. There's 1600 by 900. It's a good size, but everything's just a little bit fuzzy. I honestly use this one the most. It's a good compromise between size and sharpness. 
at least for what I need it for. And then there's 1280 by 720, which is a good size, but not as sharp as it could be. Then there's other options like changing the rotation or changing the refresh rate between 50 Hertz or 60 Hertz, as well as color profiles. This is of course compatible with Microsoft devices, and they only give you three resolutions for this, 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720, and 1600 by 900. 1280 by 720 and 1600 by 900 look pretty okay, but they're a bit fuzzy. But the 1920 by 1080 looks really good and really sharp, even if things are just a little too small. All right, that's enough talk about technical specs. Let's talk about what it can do, what it did for me and my usage with it. Mobile Pixel sent me the DuX Plus because they thought that that would work best for me since I play games on my Switch and I work a lot off my laptop. With a 13 inch MacBook Air, it's just a tinge little too large for the screen, which means that the monitor and the screen of the laptop just overlap by just a little. This bothers me just, you know, a little bit, but for me, it's functionality over form. The screen adds an additional 1.3 pounds to my laptop setup. And when it's attached, the laptop feels a bit top heavy, like it'll tilt backwards and fall back. It hasn't really happened though, but it's still in the back of my mind. Again though, not an issue if I were to have gotten the Duex Lite, which is 12.5 inches and would fit my MacBook a lot better, even though it still weighs 1.3 pounds. Outside of the physical issues though, the Duex Plus has been fantastic and extremely responsive, whether I've plugged it in to my MacBook via USB-C to USB-C or my PC via USB-C to USB-A. A fair warning though is if you plug this in through a dongle, it'll work still, but it's not as responsive and there's a little bit of weird flickering. So I highly, highly do not recommend you plug this in through a dongle. Plug it in directly into your device via the USB ports. It's super simple to use. On most devices, if you're plugging in via USB-C to USB-C, it's just plug and play. Although apparently if you do USB-C to USB-A, there's supposed to be some additional drivers you need to download, but I didn't experience having to download those when I plugged it into my PC over here. It does drain your battery a little bit faster since it has to power and do data through the USB-C cable. But like I said before, Mobile Pixels was smart enough to create a second USB port that functioned as power, so you can get power pass through. It's nice so you aren't left with one less USB-C port if you choose to use the Duex Plus. Like I said before, when it comes to physically opening the device and sliding the screen out, it's a little bit finicky, but it does get some getting used to and eventually it just becomes second nature. Of course, just be careful when sliding it out the first few times. I also did not realize this at first, but you can remove this device from the back of your laptop. You can simply pull it off and rotate it if you wanna use it the other way around or just leave it off and use it separately. Because the magnets are still attached to your laptop screen with the adhesives, they'll stay there but the actual screen itself will be removed. In my usage, I mainly use this type of documents on a second monitor when I'm on film sets. And because of how small the screen is, the 1920 by 1080 resolution is just a bit too small for what I need it for. It basically forces me to squint at it, so that's why I opt to go for the 1600 by 900. It's a good compromise between size and scale. While it's not as sharp, it's much larger and clearer to see everything that I need to on the screen. The screen is not as vibrant as say a MacBook Air screen, even at max brightness. This isn't really an issue since most of the time I'd be using the second monitor for documents. And if I want to really watch something with more vibrancy, well then I can just watch it on the actual MacBook screen itself. I feel like in most use cases, the second screen isn't gonna be really to consume content. It's more for having extra real estate to do work. Also, if you have an iPad Pro, you could sidecar your iPad to your MacBook to have a second monitor, which kind of defeats the purpose of this, but also that's an iPad Pro and that's very expensive. Using the Duex Plus as a second monitor is a much cheaper alternative and it doesn't take your iPad Pro out of commission when you're using the iPad like I do to write a bunch of stuff down and I need my MacBook there. But I mean, if you have both, you could use the iPad with Sidecar to be one monitor and the Duex Plus to be another monitor. That way you have three monitors, but I think that's overkill. Side note, Mobile Pixel actually sells a trio, which is two additional monitors on the side 
which I think is absolutely insane. As for using it with a Nintendo Switch, it's fairly straightforward. I do want to note though that the Switch only works with the Duex Plus, not the Duex Lite. So before you spend your hard earned money on the cheaper 12.5 inch version, just know that you cannot use it with your Switch. To get it set up, simply plug in the USB-C into your Nintendo Switch and the other end into the Duex Plus. Then you take your AC adapter and you plug that into your Duex Plus in the other USB-C port and that will power the entire system. I'd say this kind of works similarly to a dock where it reads power and video out to display and charge. Because this is a type of dock, if you're worried about bricking, I'll have you know that I updated my switch to 13.0 and haven't had any sort of bricking issues. Although the 13.0 update does bring its own issues, but those are on Nintendo's ends and not Duex Plus. For example, like the delayed startup time, that's entirely on Nintendo and not on mobile pixels. You'll notice that this device doesn't have any sort of audio out. I thought at first that it would be literally only just a screen and there was no way to get any sort of audio. But if you plug in headphones into your Switch, well, then you have audio. So you could bring this to a party or whatnot, bring a speaker that you could plug into with a 3.5 millimeter aux cable, or even with a new 13.0 update for the Switch, attach a Bluetooth speaker to it and it'll work. Now you've got a portable monitor that's larger than a Switch which makes it easier for groups of people to watch as compared to everyone staring at the small Switch screen. I like this device, but for $300, I feel like it's a little too steep for anyone who's looking to use it casually. Why get another portable screen for my Nintendo Switch when I already have my Nintendo Switch? Why get a second monitor that's portable when I can just use my laptop as is? And those are completely fair and valid points. I don't see many people using this unless they're power users people who need to get work done. Maybe they're at work working on their laptop or maybe they're not in the office and need to work on their laptop or they're traveling somewhere and they need to get work done. The feature of being able to use this with your Nintendo Switch is great, but I don't see many people using this only to game with. It's a very niche product. It's a great product, but I don't see many people going out of their way to pick one of these up unless they really need it. If you are in the market for a portable monitor that you can also use with your Nintendo Switch, well then, boy, do I have the product for you. Let me know what you think of the Duex Plus from Mobile Pixels down in the comments below. Would you pick one up? Do you like the multifunctionality of it? Is it out of your price range? Leave it down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.